Now, here's something that you might have come across in academic papers. Why did Basel I and Basel II not address liquidity? Why was it felt, if it was even discussed at all, I don't know, because I was at privy to the conversation. <laughs> Uh, in 1988, I was still at university. But um, what, was it even discussed at all? What, if it was discussed, well, why do we think liquidity wasn't, cons wasn't a concern of the original Basel Committee discussions? Well, there's, a, there's an academic reason for that, actually, from what I'm aware. The thinking was that a bank that was deemed to be running um, a non-sustainable, a non-viable liquidity regime would be known about and would be shunned. No one would want to place their deposits with such a bank. So that bank would need to demonstrate that it was sound for liquidity risk practice. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't be able to raise any deposits, any customer deposits. That's a kind of academic rationale as to why Basel I and Basel II didn't concern themselves with liquidity. But of course, as we know, the, um, the act of being a bank is almost, almost extracts a kind of monopoly rent, doesn't it? Once you're a bank, you're viewed in a certain, not necessarily in 2019, <laughs> but prior to 2008, the very act of being on the high street with bank in your name will get people coming through the door, metaphorically or literally, to place their deposits with you. You're a bank. You must be safe. So a close scrutiny of any bank's liquidity regime wasn't, wasn't actually practically the case. It wasn't, it wasn't done irrespective of whether you've got a government-sponsored guarantee scheme for retail customer deposits in a country. You're a bank, you must be fine, I'll put my deposits with you. So in effect, what the academics thought would be the case, a bank that was running an unsafe liquidity regime, wouldn't be able to raise customer deposits, wasn't the case at all. Um, so, and that became apparent in 2008. So, um, obviously, wise after the event, as we all were, although uh, some of us more so than others, <laughs> Uh, we've got a liquidity standard in Basel III to ensure that all banks um, are, have a minimum liquidity robustness. And this is what the Basel Committee determined. 